Hello. We are back with our pet of the week segment. It is baby day. <laughs> These three puppies, Brenda and Mike with Paws on the Ground, Colorado, are here. Yeah, and we're on the ground this morning with you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank Paws. you for having us. Yeah, could you tell us who you brought with you today? Yes, I did. <clears throat> so these are from the Berry Litter. Uh, we have Mama Berry, which is, she's a great dog. She's about two years old. She had nine puppies and she we've adopted six of the nine out we have these three little guys left we have elderberry billberry and tayberry oh. uh, and they're just oh, the they're just super fun and i mean they're soft cuddly puppies and they're super fun tay is our little fetcher he loves to uh, play fetch and uh it's sweet and cuddly actually they're all sweet and cuddly uh billberry is a little shyer than the rest of them uh, initially, but is wicked smart and warms up quick, as you can tell. And uh, and this one's Elderberry, and Elderberry is just a, he's a goofball. Yeah. He just wants <laughs> to be in your lap. So we have these three, and we also have Mama as well. She's probably about two years old, and she is a, uh, she appears to be a full Australian cattle dog. Okay. Uh, one of their siblings was adopted out, and they did a DNA test, and they were half, the puppies were half mm -hmm. Australian cattle dogs. So that's what we know. But uh, in the foster, they get along with other dogs and kids. They're crate trained and potty trained and um, just super fun little snuggly puppies. But you don't want to keep them together as a as That's an adoption. correct. Yes, yep. We don't want to keep them together. We'd like to get them. We just good homes mm -hmm. um, and get out active families probably because they're puppies and they're, they're uh, all of them, all three of them are pretty active. Uh, they're active and they're cuddly, so that's kind of a nice thing. Sometimes puppies are, are not quite as cuddly as these guys are, but they, but they all are. So um, we just like to introduce them and let them know that Mama Berry is, we still have her as well, Good. and she's wonderful. She's beautiful. She's a beautiful Australian Shepherd. And uh, just introduce these little guys. Yeah, I bet Mama is gorgeous. Just based on these puppies, their markings, they all have eyebrows, <laughs> you guys, <laughs> if you didn't notice. So that's one thing I really love about them. But yeah, so Paws on the Ground is a foster-based rescue. So y'all not only need people to adopt, but need people to take care of these pets on a temporary basis as well. We do. Um, we're always looking for fosters, uh, even if it's just a temporary foster, even if it's somebody who says, hey, I can do, I can watch them on weekends if one of the permanent fosters goes away or, you know, or if you're not ready to adopt yet, sometimes it's good to say, okay, well, I can just, you know, let them crash on my couch for a short period of time before they, before they find their forever homes. And uh, uh, we are foster based, so we don't have a brick and mortar building, um, but we have lots of great volunteers and they, we move a lot of pups and, and dogs through to, you know, try to save their lives. Most of ours come from high kill shelters, mostly mm -hmm. Texas, New Mexico, areas like that and um, we just want to try to find them good homes. Yeah. And if someone isn't maybe willing or able yet to foster or adopt, but they still want to help the organization, what's the best way they can do that if they're watching right now? Yes, so we're pawsontheground.colorado.com, and I know uh, all rescues right now sound like broken records, hmm. but our, uh, our vet costs have really skyrocketed. They're up about 30%. Our donations are down about 50%. Um, and adoptions now, I, and it may be because of the pandemic being over or what have you, but our adoptions are down as well. So all of us are really overwhelmed um, and trying to, trying to fund the cost of yes. just um, running a rescue and trying to take care of the dogs that need some medical care and such like that. So long story short, you know, if you, if you can't foster adopt right now, donations are always uh, helpful. We, uh, we can go pause on the ground, uh, colorado.org and um, it helps us pay for their dog food, for you know leashes, for medications, Everything. for vet care, all of those sorts mm -hmm. of things. I'm sorry. And, um, and I'm take all a lot of treats. <laughs> and a lot of treats, especially these guys. These guys are definitely pups that like their little treats. <laughs> and right. the best way to get in touch with you to maybe adopt one of these little ones? Yep, and that's gonna be Paws on the Ground, Colorado, well, CO, Paws on the Ground, CO.org. And you can take a look at all the dogs that we have in foster care, all that are up for, ad for adoption. Um, how to foster, mm -hmm. it's all on our website, you know, to, if you apply to, uh, you would apply to foster, you would apply to adopt a dog. Um, we try to make sure that we fit dogs with the best families that, um, <laughs> that we can, like this is going to be an active family. Yes. These little guys right here are probably, uh, they're going to need lots of uh, exercise and they're, you know, they're pups. You know, and but we have we have dogs of all shapes and sizes. We have big and small, and girls and boys, and older ones and, sm and smaller ones. And basically, if you're looking to foster or adopt, we 
we have a dog that would probably fit your family life. Perfect. Paws on the ground, Colorado.org. All right. Thank you guys so much for coming in. I'll get off the ground right now and let's <laughs> talk about the weather.